What's going on, shady people? Shady Penguin here, bringing you the very first episode to our Fire Red Randomizer Shady Lock. Whew, and before we get started, if you can, please make sure you show some shady love to that like button right below this video. Remember, if this video reaches 1,200 likes, I will keep two Pokemon videos a day coming your way. That is what I say. Did I say 1,200? I mean 1,100, you crazy mongrels, even though I want... I would love some support on the new series, but uh, I'm going to take these off for now. You guys let me know. Sunglasses on for this or sunglasses off? I can wear different pairs every episode. That is right. But uh, like I said, this is the Shady Lock playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red. Why Fire Red? Because I want to start from the very beginning. And not like the beginning as in red and blue, but the beginning as in the gen the, the, the region. So I'm liking this this face cam. Oh my gosh. Oh, speaking of this, all right. We're going to hit the start button just to get this music a little quieter in the background. But uh, this layout that you see right here, the thumbnail that brought you here, was all thanks to a artist, designer, animator by the name of Nudie7. Nudie7, thank you so much for your hard work on this layout. This is absolutely beautiful, mind-blowing, breathtaking. <gasps> Gorgeous. I mean, I love the face cam in the top right. I love the death counter. I love the the shady lock symbol it was just like psh, Like if I take these headphones off my brain is gonna be leaking out of my ear That's how awesome it was. I think I just spit everywhere, but um seriously nudie. Thank you so much Your hard work does not go unnoticed and uh, now we got a nice little background music after that little thank you nice little background music and uh Really quick, I'm going to go over, for those of you that don't know, what a Nuzlocke is so that I can proceed to tell you what a Shady Lock is. Now, Nuzlocke is what some Pokemon YouTubers do when they play through a game. It is hard mode for Pokemon, essentially. So here are the three rules. There are three rules that players implement into the games to make them more challenging. The first rule is, which doesn't affect the challenge, uh, but it affects the bonds of your Pokemon, is that you must nickname every Pokemon that you catch. Every, every Pokemon you catch, English, must have a nickname. The second rule is... That when you enter a patch of grass, depending on what route you're on, you can only catch the fir very first Pokemon you encounter per route. Uh, once you have Pokeballs available, basically, that's how I like to play. Um, so when you go to route two, if you run into a Pidgey and you kill that Pidgey, you can catch nothing on route two at that point, from that point on. Um, so that's that's one rule that makes a Nuzlocke very interesting. The final rule that makes a Nuzlocke interesting is that um, if a Pokemon faints, I'm gonna need water real quick. If a Pokemon faints, um, you must box or release that Pokemon and you can never use it again in the game. And essentially, if you ever white out or black out, depending on which game you're playing, you lose the Nuzlocke run and that 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 run ends right there. It's donezo. But, um, so that's what a Nuzlocke is. In case you did not know, it makes Pokemon hard. Now, what a Shady Lock is, it's just a small, small little change in a Nuzlocke. It's still essentially the same idea, just a little, a little twist to it. Uh, a couple little twists to make it a little unique. I'm sure it's been done before, but th this is a shady lock, and that's what I'm calling it. That's it. That's what it is. Make the shady people proud. Here are the rules. One, every Pokemon you catch must be named after a shady person, which means that I will go through my subscribers, go through the people commenting on these videos, and I will name a Pokemon after you. Um, someone at random. Anyone that's commenting, really. So if you want to have a chance to be nicknamed, make sure you leave a comment about uh, what you liked in the episode. Give me a funny moment. Give me something. Give me a little something, something to work with. A little shade, maybe. But uh, that's the first rule that's a little different from a Nuzlocke. Second rule that still applies from a Nuzlocke, the very first Pokemon you encounter is the only Pokemon you can catch per route or route or area or whatever gift Pokemon excluded. Um, third rule still sticks. If a Pokemon dies, you must box it. I will not release any of you guys because you mean too much to me, but you have to box a uh, Pokemon that faints. Any Pokemon that faints, not dies. Any Pokemon that faints essentially dies, goes into the box forever. Um, final rule, which makes this a little bit unique, but I'm sure someone's done it before. No Pokemon centers. Give me this water. Now that you guys are like, no Pokemon centers. What? Mm. Mm. All right. No Pokemon centers. But there is healing. Um, I didn't want to make it so hard. I know there's people out there that have done no Pokemon Center run-throughs, and that's awesome for you, but I'm not that talented. Uh, I'm not about that life right now, maybe in the future. But basically, when you get to a Pokemon Center, you uh, will have 999 max potions in a Shady Lock. You uh, hack those in using a um, cheat code. I guess not really hack, but use a cheat code to have max, max potions. Max, max, max. But um, you have max, max potions, and... Um, when you get to a Pokemon Center, you can heal. You cannot use Max Potions outside of a Pokemon Center. You must go inside and use the Max Potions. You can stand outside of it, I guess, but you have to be there. You have to be there. If you're poisoned, you have to go up to the Lady and use the Max Potions. The reason why you can't actually talk to the Lady and heal up that way is because there's no restoring PP in a Shady Lock. Once a move runs out of PP, it is done, useless, over, put, kaput, done. You have to figure out new sets to use. Um, so basically, 
It'd be cool, so maybe some moves that are normally not used will get used in this run through. Uh, you can't just spam moves to try to grind. It's going to be a lot harder to grind because you only have a certain amount of PP. If you use your 10 flamethrowers, that's it. You're done. You can't, and if a Pokemon um, learns Flamethrower naturally, I use all those up, and then I have a Flamethrower TM. I cannot teach that Pokemon. That Pokemon's already known Flamethrower. It's done. It's over. Whatever. That movie has to be replaced, or it just sits there with zero PP forever. But that is basically a shady lock. Now, we're going to get started right now. And as you can tell, I'm playing Fire Red. Oh! Oh, the other rule for a shady lock. Sorry, I forgot this, but if a game is not a hack... Um, if it's possible to randomize that ROM or that game that you're playing, you have to randomize it. So this is a randomized uh, Shady Lock of um, Fire Red, but you won't see randomized Shady Lock because Shady Lock implies randomization if it can be randomized. And Fire Red can be randomized. One, two, three. Boom. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I am using this nice little Xbox controller. Shout out to Rolex because I think I took this from him. Wee hee. But, uh, or Drew, I don't, it was kind of, I, that was a long time ago, and I asked, and they said, yeah, I don't use it, it's broken, look, it's got a little, it's like, it's broken, ugh, but, uh, I like this face cam thing, I like being over here, and I got a lot of room, a lot more room than I normally have, um, Nudie hooked me up with this nice area to be in, and I like it, so, we are not going to read all this stuff aloud, especially since my voice is dropping, dropping, going, losing, I'm losing my voice, but, uh, Basically, um, the other thing I forgot to say, uh, which you'll see in the title, though, um, you guys are going to choose my starter. Uh, basically, what they're, they're going to be three comments down below on this video that I will have put. Oh, a Dratini! Oh, Professor Oak is stepping his game up, matching his purple shirt with his Dratini. Kind of. Gotta love it. Um, but yeah, they're going to be three comments, and it'll say whatever the Pokemon are. I don't know what they are yet, because it's randomized. But, um... There will be three comments that will say, oh, thumbs up if you want this to be the starter. And that'll be the official thing. You can still leave a comment saying why you want the starter, especially if you want to be nicknamed after, possibly. But, uh, yeah, we're talking to Professor Oak right now. He's the Pokemon professor. He studies these little creatures in his laboratory, hooks them up, does all kind of crazy experiments on them. I do have a speed up button. Woohoo! But, uh, my name is going to be Shady P. Let's get that lowercase going on up in there, because I am not a fan of all caps when it comes to my name. Then I feel like I'm always, people are always yelling at me in the game if it's all caps. They're like, Shady P! And I'm like, why? Why? Please! Alright, so this is your grandson and you do not know his name, I'm assuming, because you're an idiot. But, what we're gonna do, and I uh, kind of just decided this uh, during this episode, but I'm going to name my rival Nudie7 in honor of all the hard work that he did on this layout. So, dude, seriously, thank you so much. BAM! My rival is Nudie7, and I am more than happy to do that. So, even though I, I really like Nudie7 for all of his hard work, he's my rival, and I have to crush him in this game. CRUSH! But I figure that's a nice little way of, you know, like, no, oh, thank you! But, um... Oh, I just did a screen capture! Okay, maybe I should disable that on the thing, because I don't know what I pressed to do it. Um, Shady P, your very own Pokemon Legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon await. Let's go! Alright, cool. So we just kind of skipped that whole shrinking scene, which is usually an important scene for you guys to watch. But instead, I'm just going to get a potion. And, uh, we are going to just skip right downstairs. Look at this. Let's, let's, can we play some Super Nintendo? Is that what this is, or it's a regular Nintendo? Thus, the regular Nintendo. Don't, we can't afford a Super Nintendo. Wait, what did that, what did that thing say? It's posted notice. If you're confused, ask for help. Oh, speaking of that, let's change our tech speed. Um, even with the speed up button, I don't want the help thing on. I want L to equal A. Oh, I want to change my frame. Can I change the border? Give me the frame. Let's uh, use... I like... I like the checkers. Let's use that. That looks so pretty. All right, cool. So we got a mom here. She goes, right, dot, 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 right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Well, TV said so. And Professor Oak is looking for me, so... I know for a fact, I know for a gosh darn fact, that Professor Oak is not in his lab right now. He is actually, um, not there. Oh, look, look. So I can look at the sign. Trainer tips, press start to open the menu. Wow, what a useless sign. I should just burn it for fire. We'll talk to you, fat man. Technology is incredible. You can now store Pokemon and recall Pokemon and add words to sentences, apparently, because that's what I like to do. We're gonna go up here because, oh, Nudie Seven's house. Maybe we should go in here. Let's see what you got going on, Nudie. You got some more graphics in there, huh? You got something for me? Ooh, a map right on the table. Daisy, ooh, your sister. Mm-hmm, hmm My brother Nudie Seven is out of Grandpa's lab. Oh, is he? Is he now? Well, maybe we should go to Grandpa's lab, but I'm not going to because I know the truth. I know if I go there, Grandpa's not gonna be there. I'm gonna go into the grass, and here comes Oak. It's unsafe while Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know, here, come with me. We're gonna get a Pokemon. <laughs> 
It's probably the closest I've ever been to you guys <laughs> in a uh, face cam, but it's all right. It's all right, right? It's all right. It's all right. You're fine. We're fine. Here we go. Nudie seven. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Eh, Bertha. Uh, that's apparently what Nudie seven sounds like. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Uh, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait here, Shady P. There are three Pokemon right on this table. Haha, -ha, the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious trainer, but now in my old age, I can barely walk. And I fart dust, so you can choose one. Take it. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? <laughs> I'm not doing voice acting, but Nudie 7, my rival, I always got to do a voice for. I can't help it. Be patient, Nudie 7. You can have one, too. All right, so let's take a look. This is the moment we're gonna find out together what my Pokemon are. Let's start right from over here. A powerful Granbull. Oh my gosh, it's so powerful. <laughs> All right, so Granbull, no fairy typing. You're just a normal type. No, we don't want you yet. We need to see what our other options are. A Sunflora. Mm, I don't think I've ever used a Sunflora in my entire life. Um, JDP, do you want the grass Pokemon Sunflora? No, I do not. Or we can get a Kapuskin! <laughs> the power! That would make this uh, very, very, considering it's going to be very hard, um, it might make it kind of nice to have a Kapuskin, but uh, it's not up to me, is it? It's not up to me. Nope, it's not. So, you guys just saw the three Pokemon. It was a Kapuskin, a Sunflora, and we had a Grand Bull. So, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. This was an intro episode, a little bit shorter. Um, the regular Let's Play episodes will probably be around 20-30 minutes, and I know I didn't say this, I forgot to say this in the beginning, so I'm, I'm sure some of you guys didn't watch this all the way through, but this will not interfere with our regular two Pokemon uploads. This is like extra. Like, um, kind of like Hearthstone is extra on my channel, like sometimes you'll see that. This will probably be three times a week uh, on average, maybe more if it gets more attention or if I'm like craving to play it. It's kind of just be going to be at my leisure type of thing. Um, but it will not interfere with like Road to Ranked and Wi-Fi battles. I'll still bring two uh, or um, Shady Pokes, stuff like that. The GBA battles, I'll still bring two of those videos a day. And this will be like a bonus third some days. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are looking forward to this like I am, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I can't wait to name Pokemon after some of you guys. I really hope you have the like rating. Hope you sub to the channel. Leave a comment. Um, I do upload two Pokemon videos a day. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shady.